Now at six, Fotis Dulos took the witness stand today, accused of owing millions of dollars to the family of his missing wife, Jennifer Dulos. Today was the first day in the trial between Dulos and the estate of Jennifer's late father, Hilliard Farber. Channel 3's Mike Savino was in the courtroom. So, Mike, what happened today? Well, Denise and Dennis, uh, Dulos was actually on the stand for most of the day. He's talking about his relationship with his late father-in-law, uh, Hilliard Farber, uh, saying he was like a second father, even to the point that uh, Farber donated or donated loaned millions of dollars uh, to to Dulos for his company. Uh, but he also took a big gamble taking the stand in his defense. Of course, he still has those charges pending in connection with the search for his missing wife. Uh, and even before he testified today, the judge reminded him that he doesn't have to say anything that would hurt him in that criminal case. Is there any impact on the criminal case? None. Attorney Norm Pattis saying today's trial had no impact on the criminal case for his client, Fotis Dulos. But CBS News legal analyst Rika Kleiman says Dulos took a risk. A slip of the tongue here could really be trouble for him in a criminal case. Dulos today mostly kept his testimony to his relationship with Hilliard Farber. Farber is the late father of Dulos's wife, Jennifer, missing since May. Farber lent millions to Dulos for his luxury construction company, The Four Group. He was incredibly supportive. He provided advice. Uh, he provided capital over the years. Dulos is accused of owing $2.2 million to Farber's estate. Today, an accountant said the family is willing to accept $1.74 million. At the same time, he's accused of tampering with evidence in connection with the search for his wife. Dulos says he repaid the loans, but he also claims things changed after he and Jennifer had their first child. He says Farber then gave money interest-free, and Dulos would just repay it when projects were done. Dulos also says some of the payments from Farber were actually for work he did on the guest house for the family's New York property. I want to show you Exhibit 18. But accountants gave a different picture. Paperwork shows Dulos still owes the money. They also say they couldn't find paperwork to back up some of Dulos's claims. Now the trial will continue tomorrow when Dulos is expected to once again be on the stand, this time for cross-examination from the Farber's family attorney. Reporting live from Hartford, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.